I would very much like to pay tribute to the people of Durham and this area for turning out in such wonderful numbers to support the parade today. You did so in similar strength you tell them. three years you tell ago them. when the regiment returned from Afghanistan. It is wonderful to see so many people here today. And I would particularly like to say how wonderful it is that there are so many children here participating so enthusiastically. Thank you all. Thank you, the regiment, for displaying today uh, exactly what I would have anticipated from you of a regiment that has so distinguished itself on operational duty in recent years. Many congratulations to you all and thank everybody here for being here and for contributing to this very special occasion. Thank you all very much. Thank you for that. 
Upon signing our covenant, our initial focus was supporting the Light Dragoons during their deployment to Afghanistan in the summer of 2012. Appreciating the families have a difficult difficulty when loved ones are serving abroad, and we've also improved the facilities at the Light Bike Community Cafe, provided free museum vouchers and activities for children over the school holidays. As you may know, the Light Dragoons historically recruit from Northern England and are sometimes called the Northern Cavalry. Maybe as you now leave us for Catholic, you should be known as the Norfolk Cavalry. The people of Norfolk have demonstrated a strong support for our military community. Local residents have welcomed the willingness of the regiment to engage with and integrate into our communities and will be missed by all of us. The armed forces are an integral part of who we are as a nation and an inspiration to everyone. And I'm sure I speak for all who are here today to say farewell. And when I say we are deeply grateful to our servicemen and women for their commitment, service and sacrifice for our country. I'm humbled by the bravery and dedication of the Light Dragoons and remember fondly and with pride the homecoming parade held here in Durham in December 2012. A wonderful occasion which we welcomed home some 300 soldiers who marched from Durham, cheered on by the crowds of local people as they received the freedom of the town. Whilst based here in Norfolk, seven soldiers have given more than most and lost their lives in action. <laughs> Others have been wounded or seriously injured in the course of their duties. All were committed to serving their country and were outstanding soldiers of this regiment. We were all good born in Finally, a massive thank you to you, the citizens of Europe and beyond, who have steadfastly supported the light of your rules during their time in life. And the, tur the turnout today is testament to the close links the Light Dragoons have formed with you and Norfolk. We are really sorry to see you go. And at the same time, wish you good fortune in your new place. It is now my pleasure to invite Lieutenant Colonel James Senior, Senior to say a few words. Thank you very much. Thank you also to everyone who's taken the time to come and see the Light Dragoons exercise our freedom of doom with swords drawn and bayonets fixed for one last time before we move to our new home in Yorkshire. It's an extraordinary privilege for us to be amongst you again today and I'm grateful for everyone who's turned out and found time in their busy lives to come and support this event. I'm also very grateful for the people that helped glue today together. Norfolk Council, Brecon Council, and of course Swanton Morley, Parish Council, for their huge efforts. Thank you. As we've heard, the Light Dragoons have been based in Norfolk since August 2000. And since then, as we all recognise, much has changed. Back then, petrol, was 85 pence a litre. The price of a pint in the pub was under two pounds. And the charts were graced by such luminaries as S Club 7, Westlife, and the Spice Girls. In the intervening years, as prices have gone up and the charts have changed, the Light Dragoons have used their Norfolk home as a springboard to launch operations all around the world, including to Bosnia, Kosovo, Iraq and Afghanistan. Last year alone, as we've heard, the regiment deployed an exercise to Gibraltar, Kenya, Slovenia, Morocco, 
and to quite all excited the place thought would be brilliant. And then I also an operations to Bosnia. We've also been very fortunate to be able to make a contribution closer to home, to home. With the regiment deploying en masse to the local coastline when a tidal surge threatened home in December 2013. <laughs> but whilst the world around us has changed, demanding our deployment far and wide, the one thing that has not changed, the one thing that has remained steadfast throughout these 15 years, and the one thing that we've always been able to rely on, has been the unwavering support from the people of Swanton Morley, Theorem and Norfolk at large. This support has come in many forms, and not only on days like this, when so many people come onto the street. Routinely in shops, post offices, hairdressers and particularly pubs, we receive so much good work. And this support is never greater when we, as a consequence of either operations or exercises, find one of our soldiers severely injured or even killed in action. It's been during these very dark moments that this great town has shown its true colours and support for the regiment that it has adopted as its own. Last, all good things must come to an end. Soon the Yorkshire and Geordie accents of the Light Dragoons will be replaced by the soft twine of the Welsh Valleys and the First Queen's Degree Guards, who will replace us in Robertson Barracks. I know you will make them feel as welcome as you've made us feel welcome. Before that,
Mr. Rose says you're the